In this video, we are going to discuss variable declaration, how we can define variables in our Scala programming. So we know that variables can be of two types. One is the mutable variable. So that means these variables can values can be changed later on as when required. So these mutable variables will be defined with the keyword bar. And another kind of variable is there that is the immutable variable whose values cannot be changed later on. And these variables will be defined with the keyword val. So let us show you some sample coding and execution and the outcome. So here we are using the REPL environment that is the shell environment that is the top level environment. We are having this Scala shell where we will be writing our codes and the codes will get interpreted and executed. So REPL is having the full form that is the read, eval, print and look. So here we are having this var a colon int is equal to 100. So this particular variable is mutable one. So that's why it is var of type integer explicitly I have written and this is a value which is going to get assigned on this a. So after, after executing we are getting this outcome that is a of the type int has got the value 100. Here you see we are initializing this value of a with 200 and there is no issue it is allowed because we define this variable uh, there is a mutable one. Next we are having this var b is equal to 200. So b is of the type integer and has got the value 200 here. Here you see I did not mention the type notation here explicitly but Scala supports type inferences. So that means depending upon the value which is going to get assigned on this b the value is 200 that is of integer type. So that is why b has got the data type integer automatically. So b is equal to 300 so it is causing no problem the value of b is getting updated as well. Now we are considering this immutable variable that is going to be defined with the keyword val. So val c is equal to 400. So now here the, using the type inference so c has got the data type int and the value is 400 here. So as c is immutable so cannot be updated. So if I put c is equal to 500 then one error has been raised that is reassignment to val and it is causing error. Next one we are writing only the expression we are writing expression will return one value but I am I am not going to define any variable for myself where this value will be stored. So here we have written this one as 10 star 5. So what is the value in that case what is the value of the what is the expression value the, that is our 50. So now this particular 50 you see the Scala has given a name that is a res0 the Scala has given its own name as a variable name so that is the res0 and later on this res0 can be used in other codes. So now here we have written this there is 20 star 5. So what is the value here it is a 100 but here I did not use any variable name here in this expression. So here the res1 so in this way res0 res1 res2 in this way the variables will be will, the variable names will be supplied by this Scala environment. So later on this res0 and res1 this result 0 and result 1 is getting printed I am getting this value as 50 and 100. So here you see the Scala is giving us the name of the variables and it is by default automatically. So let us go for one practical demonstration where we will be typing our code we will be executing we will be explaining line by line for the better understanding. So here is the demonstration for you. Variable in Scala can be defined either using the keyword var or using the keyword val. If we define one variable using val then the variable will become immutable that means the value of the variable cannot be changed later on. But if we define one variable with var then the variable will become mutable that means the value can be changed against that variable later on as when required. We know that this Scala is statically defined language. So that means the variables, the respective variables and their data types will be will remain defined in case of compile time and that will be maintained throughout the program. It is not like our JavaScript or Python where you can change the data type of a variable on the fly. So now let me show you that if you come to the Scala prompt. So I am defining variable data 1 with the value 100. 
So here you can find that data one is being defined with the data type double and has been initialized with the value 100.0. So if we define another variable using bar, the keyword bar, So data2 is of the type double and has been initialized with the value 200.0. So later on, if I want to change the value of this data1, then it is showing some error message because the reassignment to val we are trying to do. So in case of data2, if I change this particular value of data2, then you can find that the new value has become here 400. So println you, you see the new value 400 has been assigned. So as this particular scala will be used for different distributed environment. So as a result of that, if we require some variables to save it from the side effects, from the unwanted changes, unwanted changes in the variable values, if you want to register that one, then you can define those variables with the keyword val there. So it will be of the type of final. So the initial value, whatever will be assigned to that respective variable, that will be kept. It is not updatable later on. So that is the main purpose of this, uh, this val type of variables. But in case of bar, if we require to change the respective values, then that can be changed as when required because it is of the type bar type. So now you see that as this particular Scala is statically typed language, so all the variables and their respective data types must be known at the compile time during the fly, during the execution of the program, the variable type cannot be changed later on. So that is the main aspect of this variable declaration in Scala. Thanks for watching this video.